A Gear Team TV series or movie was pitched by Gabriel Fazera. Some additional Summer of Pain info has been revealed. Special Attack 3 in Mutant Node in Cavalier is broken and players still very much mixed on the subject of the new arena changes dropping on the 10th of June. Hello everybody, welcome to the Marvel Contest of Champions news show for Monday. How are you all doing? And I really indeed hope that you have been good to one another over the weekend. So yeah, just just try and try and you know appreciate one another in the community because it's a great community, by the way. That can hit the like button and subscribe with post notifications on all. Oh, yes, you can, you will, and you have indeed done us. Thanks very much. Speaking of those lovely people, they're on screen right now. Thank you so much to everybody that is a Patreon and a YouTube member here on the channel. Appreciate you so much for helping and giving that support. Also, those that support over on twitch.tv slash richthemanlive, that's where I do a lot of my live streaming, so come along. And thank you to those that give the free Prime game you see of Amazon Prime. Give a free Twitch sub. It can be to anyone else, but please consider myself. Those also that give gifted subs, tier one subs, donations, bits, thank you so much. Appreciate you, and I'll see you tonight for a spicy little live stream. But we've got to cover some newsy type stuff, haven't we? So let's kick off with a couple of laughs. The first one being got this sent, sent this by Blizzard. And it's like, yeah, don't you just hate it when there's a massive big pool of lava type rubbish that just appears out of nowhere? A lot of players have this, man. It's I don't know if this is something to do with device issues, specific issues, because a few little bugs have crept in over the weekend. But yeah, it's certainly funny to see these things. What is also pretty funny to see is an amazing video done by Slayer of Gods. So I'm not going to spoil any of it, because I, I want you to go and check this out. But this is one man's story about what is a contact hit or not when it comes to taking on Gwen Master and how Cosmic Ghost Rider is contact, non-contact and terminology and Kabam's kind of like, uh, okay, in abilities it says this but actually means this but isn't, man, it's always funny to check out and I'm not going to like ruin the video, go and check it out, you'll have a good laugh at this one. It says contact! Next up, and quickly touched on something that I did a full video on on Friday, and that is Arena. Still, I think, a very sore subject, and is still something that I think is going to take time to get right. Especially because a lot of stuff that I've read in these 11 pages, and it is, there's a lot to take into consideration. There's a very much like a, a real spread of different areas, different people feeling different things about this. From people saying that they have not stimulated a four star roster enough to do the four point. Uh, six or seven mil that you require in order to do what will be the new changes to some of the trials and how that may be a problem and that's just really the thing I didn't really agree with that when uh, this kind of like was kind of put out but uh, that's going to be the thing isn't it you're going to have to test your grind time and see whether or not you're at a worse situation as of the result of the 10th of June changes than you were from the beginning of how it was how it was changed on the shang chi arena and how you know as i said there are three different types of things there it will be a problem before it can be sorted so i would say that and as i said in the video is give kabam feedback when you've tested it out against your normal grind uh, or your prior to shang chi arena changes grind if it's not aligning, then Kaban need that feedback. But um, I don't know. Like I'm feeling quite positive uh, towards this, and I will be trying it. As I said, I'm going to be trying it, experimenting, investing the same time as I did prior to the changes of the Shang Chi Arena, and seeing if it matches up. And I really think it's important that everybody does that because you might think that you might be better off as a result. But we'll have to see. You may feel that it's worse off because of uh, the grind, the champions acquisition, and maybe the, the volume of four stars that you have. Lots of things need to be kind of looked into, but uh, yeah, what are your thoughts? Put it in the comment section about the arena changes. But now let's get into the meat of the stories that we've got to cover. So I got a message, I think this was on Saturday by Sasa to say, that he's having a problem with his Apocalypse doing an SP3. Now, this is one of these situations where it's good to look into what's going down, and he's actually not alone with this level of feedback. So you can see right here in this that SP3 is down 20%, good, good kind of like hit there, and you can see that the health there is around about like 50%, which is now going to not drop to anything. So that's a massive red flag right there. And it came up with a zero, if you saw that, just quickly came up with a zero. Nothing out of the realm to be ridiculous that it that this is just 
shouldn't work. This should work normally. And he shows further kind of info of that as to like what is going on. And the thing is, he's not alone. Because then a forum post sprung up with other players giving that level of feedback. And this actually looks like this could be a very annoying bug. Especially for those that throw special attack threes in something like the mutant node with mutant champions of course and platypus saying here being exploring cavalier event quest mutant quest and noticed on three different opponents that my special attack three is dealing zero damage the opponents were grouped using colossus Korg using x23 and red guardian using x20 x23 again now i may be missing something in the nodes but from what i can tell my damage is any if anything should be reduced by 20 percent but even then that reduce shouldn't be applying its uh, special attack I'm, I'm using. So that's really the, the the kind of the feedback then and the thing. But it looks like again, as I said, he's not alone. As this player here says, he's got the same thing. An example here of uh, of this in action against the Daredevil, and yeah, it continues on. And several other players are kind of giving that level of feedback. So if you're finding that you are using an SP3. Of, uh, of these champions and finding nothing's working, then it does look like this could be a bug, especially with the feedback being given. For this time, if you are doing a mutant node, just throw SP2s and SP1s. I know you may want to rotate around SP3s, but let's face it, if it's broken, there's no point kind of like having a bash with it. So, uh, so yeah, that's just a word of warning and hopefully Kaban could see this, try and replicate it, test it out and find out if they can get this fixed. Okay, now to something that's really interesting. I really like the character of Guillotine. I like the backstory. I like what Gabe and as well uh, Al Ewing created with that character. So with that, we actually did an interview here on the channel with Al Ewing, uh, who is uh, one of the, I think, co-creators of Guillotine. And it was just great because the story arcs about the history of, say, the different types of the different types of Guillotine, because it's not just about uh, this gear team we know, but there's also kind of um, other ones that uh, that that have kind of like fit the bill. Even ones that are like in World War One, World War Two, and stuff like that, and kind of like in revolution in times in um, in France. So that was really interesting. I like that. But the idea, and we talked about this on the on this particular interview, which if I remember, I'll put in the uh, the, the description. With Al, we asked the question, you know, what would be, you know, would you would you be interested in doing a film or something? And it was like, yeah. But it looked like uh, Gabriel Vazera might have actually pitched something of a movie or TV series to uh, to Marvel, which is pretty amazing. So the question was put to him by Michael here saying, so Gabe, if a Gear Team movie series came out, what do you imagine the plot looking like? Because, uh, boy, I'm struggling to imagine the story for her, given how I, how you uh, to I am seeing her in game um, and like I mean there's loads of stories that could be done but Gabriel Fazera said the pitch I wrote a couple of years back relates to her uh, her trip to Algeria in search of her long lost mother in the journey uh, learns a lot about past gear teens and why so many have met tragic deaths which is really cool like if you haven't seen a story of, of kind of like the gear of gear team through the years there is some comic book art somewhere and i think that's in the marvel contest of champions uh, comic book series so it's well worth going and checking out and uh gabriel uh Fizzera did actually point out that if you haven't seen it already because we did kind of like react to this on a on a live stream in game at the moment there is a special cutscene so if you go to your settings which is your cog in the top left hand corner and go down to cutscenes and then scroll right the way down to the bottom and click on bloodlines it will play the uh the new uh the new little um uh, cutscene which is really kind of nice kind of like meal between guillotine and guillotine 2099 so i thought that was kind of like a, a nice thing there but no and i thoroughly welcome you to go and check it out because it's a nice little thing we re reacted it and read it out with a story time with Rich the man uh, which was which is really nice. Okay, now we turn our attention to Summer of Pain. As a lot of you know, Summer of Pain is meant to drop towards the end of the month. And one thing about this is, I think this must be similar to like last year's like a mega quest. If anyone remembers that, the way that you, can, like, you had different weeks, different bosses, and especially for nine weeks. So I don't know if this is now being rebranded or is the kind of like abyss level end game content. It, it's really hard to tell at this time. But as we know by the info, it's starting later this June. A new single fight quest will be available every week for nine weeks. These ultra fights will put you and your team to the test. Each fight will only be available for one week and completing a fight earns you points towards some very rare and powerful rewards. 
We'll start you out easy. The first three fights will be warm-ups before additional challenges are added to the following weeks. Then prepare your special finale. The fight will mix up, uh, mix it up a little bit and keep you uh, on your toes. Now, that's a bit ominous. But uh, shout out to um, somebody, I think one of my mods, well, it was one of my mods, Captain Dante, and as well, uh, someone, I think someone in his alliance pointed out something on the update page. So if you go to the app store, there is something that has a little bit more further info on that, especially because I, I suppose we're kind of like going like, well, what's involved with it? And I thought just quickly, just so I'm not completely mad, even on my uh, notes here from uh, Command for the CCP when we get to kind of put these kind of release notes type videos out, there's nothing that kind of like pinpoints any further information than what we've just read right there from the change log. So what's the deal, Rich? I suspect you're kind of asking yourself, well, this right here, this goes further info than any of the stuff, which is saying that Cavalier and Thronebreak players, which, look, it's kind of important because from what I believe the Grandmaster Gauntlet is just Thronebreaker only. So Summer, uh, well, summer of Pain, you get to access its Cavalier and Thronebreaker. Take a trip down memory lane. We don't really know that it's going to be against some older fights until reading this. Facebook gets a remix and challenging fights from the history of the battle realm. So what will those be? Will those be similar to um, fights against Maestro? Will these be fights against um, someone in Realm of Legends? Will this be something of Kang fight? Will this be a Collector fight? Will this be a Grandmaster fight? Will this be Collector Abyss fight? Will it be all those things? That's really the thing right there. Rather than newly created stuff. Now there's going to be 10 quests. So like, right, well, there's going to be three of those are going to be easier. And then each week is going to get harder and harder. So that's going to be the thing there. I've gone like, okay, well, of those fights, who are we likely going to, going to go up against? Put it in the comment section. Now that we know this info, that it's going to be some older fights that we've had in the history of the Battle Realm, who do you think it's going to be against? Will it indeed be Maestro, Uncollect Uncollected, Collector, um, and uh, Abyss Collector? Will it be like any of those, Grandmaster? Will it be Gwen Master as well? What are your thoughts? Put it in the comment section down below. And we end the show as we normally do on a Monday by covering the arena results and as well the predictions. So all predictions are down below at the moment for you to check out. That's my predictions for round two. But let's go over the results, shall we? And I want to give a special shout out, special thank you to everybody in the Discord that put everything on the arena results. Go and check out Marvel True Cost later on today for info on the arena breakdown and that's delivered by arena night i want to say as well so go and check that out but yeah shout out to everybody in the discord that has dropped all the info that we've got for the results because it's great we can go over it right now and on the screen is indeed those results so that gives you some really spicy info there if it hasn't come in from the selector side of things for the six star, but I can imagine it is going to take you a lot. It's going to be mainly in about the 50 plus mil bracket to pick yourself up a six star version of the champion. But there's been some real shockers with uh, the way the results have come in. So yeah, uh, if you also want to kind of follow the 1 to 5%, 11 to 30% and stuff like that, then please go right ahead. But yeah, this is uh, dropped a lot um, closer here, especially with the selector, which we'll begin with. Position 317, 39 mil. The 451 position, so just giving you kind of like that kind of 100 bracket there, is 31 mil. So you can see like 8 mil was enough to separate 100 positions. That's, that's quite good, but a little bit crazy at the same time. 25.5% uh, 5 mil got the 1 to 5% and then 27.5 uh, 1 to 5% as well. 11.5 mil, 11 to 30%. That's a selector right there. When it comes to uh, the Spider Ham Arena, right, some real shockers there. 70 mil was enough for position 89, which is just, again, incredible. Good to see that it's going a little bit lower than normal. I predicted extensively on that one. But you just don't know. These arenas are so unpredictable at the moment. They're so volatile. It's unbelievable to get a real kind of lock on this. But I must say, apart from my, I think it's my spider hand prediction was too high. The rest of them were actually pretty on point. So that was good uh, for my round one. So round two is right there. The um, the other positions, like we've got 30.6 for position four and one nine. It gives you close to the threshold of picking up that five star. So again, like you know, you're going to be able to pick up the uh, the fire stuff for 40 mil. It's going to be a no-brainer. Even like I could drop that under 35 mil. But yeah, there we go. That has been the arena predictions and results for the Spider Ham and Selector Arena. Thank you so much. And also make sure to check out some content recently posted up there. 
I appreciate you very much and I might be posting another video today. If not, it's going to be a very big week, so I should have enough. Six star shards to do the 10 six star crystal opening, which is very exciting times. And uh, another content, I've got lots of content to do. So, uh, so yeah, check you out on the live stream. Thank you so much and see you soon. Bye-bye.